Hello everybody, this is Teddy here and welcome back. This is episode 2 of my Resonant Rise experimental playthrough and last time we left off at the dungeon down there, uh, I decided not to raid it yet because I am not equipped well enough for it. So I did some mining off camera, uh, did some moving, moved some stuff here, uh, and did a, just a touch of building and landscaping over here and this is what we got we've got a small hovel we've got some sugar canes I found this while I was uh, landscaping out the area so we have a nice area to mine in uh, once we get it lit up and get some more stuff going uh, one good thing about the origin grass is a lot of crops especially the vanilla minecraft crops will grow on it so without tilling so there's that that's an added bonus uh, this is mostly made out of chisel blocks uh, which is fairly simple mod and a carpenter's block door and pressure plates and something I didn't know about these is if you right click it you can change what activates it with the hammer and I'll show you how to make that in a minute same with the door if you well get it back to what it was if you shift right click it wooden door iron door wooden door iron door so now it's an iron door and it opens with pressure plates only it cannot open any other way so I moved all the stuff over here and I'll show you how I did that uh, this is all chisel carpenters blocks and chisel blocks like I said fairly simple uh, chisel blocks made with this uh, if we look at this and look at the recipe it's just a stick and a piece of iron. That's all it is. And then you right click, drop a piece of cobble in there, and then you get a whole bunch of different options for cobble. Pretty much any vanilla Minecraft block will work in this. Uh, the other tool I used is the hammer. Recipe on that's just iron. And these carpenter blocks, which are made with sticks, never mind the helmet, uh, sticks around a plank. We'll give you five. So. That's how that's made. Uh, the door and all that is just made with carpenter's blocks for doors. And the same pattern as planks for doors. Same with the pressure plates. Uh, let's see what else. I moved everything over here using a dolly from Jabba. And that's just iron planks or iron ingots with a plank. And when you move something you get a mining and speed debuff and then you right click to set it back down okay so I've moved everything over I did a little bit of processing I brought a lot of stuff loot from the uh, place back up so that's what I've been up to uh, we're gonna try to get some processing going on and I think I'm gonna do it in this building but underground so uh, we need to think here. Oh, and another important thing is I like to build inside chunks to help the processor out a little bit so it's not doing as much. So all my machinery will be inside this chunk right here and I will try to keep from expanding out from it with any pipes or anything like that. I'll use inner chests and things like that to move stuff through chunks because chunk boundaries if you build within chunk boundary it lessens the load on your CPU so there we go alright let's put this stuff away for now uh, let's make a new pick hmm I'm just gonna do it out of these guys right here And a shovel. Do I got any planks laying in here? No. So we'll make a pick and we'll make, uh, yeah, one shovel. One shovel will be enough for right now. So let's get a shovel. And let's see. 
So there's a carpenter's ladder also. There it is. SPS carpenter's blocks. Like that. Okay. Let's do that many. Eight of them. Should be enough. So if we do... Let's just do that. We'll take half of these back. Will that give us that give us 20 that's should be sufficient for now so let's see how many we can get eight ladders okay and the carpenter's hatch which I believe is just yeah six of them perfect stop all right so we got a hatch and all that good stuff I think we're just gonna put it right here Two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, that should be enough. So we're just going to clear this area out real quick. There's our chunk boundary. Nice, we get a little bit of appetite out of this, which we can use to make fertilizer and start making things grow faster. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're going to get geared up. Uh, I'm going to clear this out and I'm going to craft up I'm going to start crafting some machinery, and I'll come back when I start crafting the machinery. All right, be back in a few minutes, guys. All right, everyone, I'm back. Uh, did a little bit of mining, collected some materials that we're going to need for this build, and we're going to jump right into mechanism. Uh, first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a heat generator just to get started. Uh, so we need three iron, a little bit of that. I've got all that on me, uh, so let's do that. Shift click that into there. We've got our metallurgic confuser. Oh, did I pick the. Yeah. Okay, I meant to do that. Which now I don't have enough. Okay. I need to build two more furnaces. Easy enough. Alright, now we can build the heat generator. We needed the metallurgy confuser anyways. What am I missing? What am I missing? Planks. A little bit of planks. There we go. A little bit of planks. One heat generator. We're just going to do one for now. Uh, we're going to bump up really quick to the next level. Uh, so the metallurgy confuser, uh, that recipe is pretty simple too. Uh, but we're going to need that to move on to the next set of things. So the heat generator, you can run it off lava, which is really, really useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it down right here, okay? And we're basically going to use this to make steel and some other things, okay? Now you want to surround this with lava on as many sides as you can get. Uh, we're going to leave the front open because that's where our... Uh, metallurgy confuser is going to go so we're just going to pop this on right here and then put that there that there right dig down one more and it shouldn't come out on us but it might so we're going to do this alright uh, let's get something ready to block it off or we can use the there we go that should fill up now one very important thing with this is lava searches so many levels up to find wood and it's five so this is sitting here right here on this level so one two three four five so it shouldn't reach that wood right there and catch it on fire and a training lovely 
Let's take a nippy nap. Get that rain to stop. All right. So we got some more glass cooking. That's good. We're going to go ahead and come down here and just cap the top of this off. There we go. Nice. Nice. So this guy's not getting any power. Why are you know? Oh. Because I'm stupid. That's why. Hmm. Let me pick up this lava. There we go. Let's make sure that lava's gone before I do this. This needs to go down one more level. To right here. So let's get our glass ready. Ooh. Woo, that was close. Alright, metallurgy confuser. Now you should be getting power. Yes, you are getting power. Okay. So now that's all getting its stuff. Let's put a piece of glass on top of that. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice. Alright, so our metallurgy confuser has power now. Now let's look at our next thing that we want to make. We actually want to get into some ore doubling. So we don't want the purification chamber, we want the enrichment chamber. Okay, for the enrichment chamber to run, I think it needs... Uh, let me double check here. Let's see, we just want... Yeah. Hey, you get dirty house in a crusher. All right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think it's an enrichment chamber. All right. So let's look at the recipe for that. See, we got these enriched alloy steel and stuff. So we need to get some steel going. Uh, so to make steel, see, eight will do four pieces of steel let's do that much let's put that in there that's gonna start cooking that up into uh, enriched iron right there what you do is once that's done you put that enriched iron back in as long as there's more carbon in here it'll make steel so we'll let that go, because uh, we're going to need a uh, enrichment chamber, then we're going to need a energized smelter for now, which is not hard to make. Glass, the control circuits are pretty easy. They're made with enriched alloy, which you use redstone for, and put it in iron instead of carbon. So we're going to let that go and uh, Now one thing I want to do is get Sorry buddy. So we want to make a clipboard thank you I don't want to make this one I want to make this one so we're gonna need three pieces of paper a feather and an ink sack I do not know if I have any feathers I don't think I have any feathers Let's see if there's any chickens around Mm-hmm. Da dee 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 dee. Hmm. Got lots of sheep. But I do not see any chickens. Interesting.
interesting, to say the least. If we get to a different biome, we'll see some chickens. Yep, there's some chickens right here. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, some quarried stone here. That's good to know. All right, let's head back. We need to get find a squid. Get an ink sack. And we'll be set. See if we can't find any squid out here in the water. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I know. Was, oh, there's some. I know I just started it, but uh, once we get geared up, we're going to back into that dungeon and we're going to take care of things. I've just got a few tools I want to make first. There's a witch over there. Nasty witch. Alright, there's some calamari and some uh, squid ink. So we'll get this clipboard made and this will help me come up with uh, things for each episode. And keep me organized because I have a terrible thing about staying on track. So let's come in here and we will see. I need a pressure plate. Okay, interesting. Pressure plate and recipe. Should click that in there. Clipboard. Now I also want to make a desk just to put this stuff on. Desk. see we'll just do a regular oak desk so I need slabs a torch and a feather uh, slabs so I need a torch so I need a regular stick feather slabs planks oak desk alright there we go we're going to put this guy right over here. We're going to slap our clipboard on him. There we go. Now, we're going to call this uh, goals and stuff. Okay, first thing we want to do is... Uh, Or doubling mech. Huh, won't let me take that check mark off. Interesting. Let's take that off there. Okay, nice. Or doubling. Now, goals and stuff. get that all fixed up kind of looks centered okay first uh, or doubling with mechanism second uh, we're gonna want to do uh, power upgrade mech then we're gonna want to do uh, a jetpack free runners Atomic Dissimilar. Uh, okay, and I think that's good for now. So let's slap that down there. There we go. It's on there. Boom. Good, good, good. Alright, this guy should be done by now. We'll do the next step. We'll get some steel. 
Now C, we're going to get back into the mechanism. So we've got the purification chamber, or not the purification, we need an enrichment chamber, which is two control circuits, so we're going to need some redstone in there, which I happen to have 14, 15, 16. All right. Done yet? No, of course not. All right, we got more glass, yay. Okay, put that away in there. Get this extra stuff put up that we don't need. I might need that. Uh, I might need that. Don't need those. Don't need that one. And don't need that one. Extra furnace. Might need it. Matter of fact, we're going to put this extra furnace down here right now because we're going to need it down here there we go last one's going in and boom and put that in there with one of these now we're going to need to do let's do 16 of these 13 14 15 16 There we go. All right, and there's our steel. Now, if we look, uh, there is a universal power cable, basic universal cable. It's just redstone and steel. Okay, and that's good for 200 RF a tick. So that should be good for now. So these armor jetpacks, they don't have a uh, recipe yet. I think that's in the next update. Whereas a jetpack, it's pretty simple. 10, steel, basic circuit, and a gas tank. Here's the atomic disassembler right here. It's a little more involved. It takes a few diamonds. Let's see, we got a few of those, so let's get those. Uh, let's see. Enrichment chamber needs four. I've got four. Uh, four around a piece of osmium. Okay. Let us bring a crafting table downstairs with us. Alright, so we need uh, one of those. Oh. There we go. Let's get those. One of those with four of these around them. Gives us a steel casing. And then we need two control circuits. So that's two of those with, was it redstone? Yeah, it was redstone. Let's get some more redstone. Let's just do that. All right, so two of these with redstone. Gives us two control circuits. Alright, so we should have enough to do the energized smelt or the enrichment chamber. Boom. Let's go ahead and do some cables. And we're going to have to make some more uh, steel. But we got the enrichment chamber so we can start once this guy gets done. It's not the fastest. As a matter of fact, let's pull that out now. Let's get this. Let's take these cables. And put them... Should work without breaking anything. We'll put. It. There we go. Put our cobblestone back. We're going to put our infuser 
right there. Put this guy, this guy, this guy down. I'm gonna put our enrichment chamber down. And it helps if I put it in the right spot. There we go. Enrichment chamber powering up very slowly. That's why we gotta increase our power supply right there. So now we can cover this up for now. Okay, so next we want the energized smelter. So that's another steel casing, so let's finish these guys. Oh, he did empty out. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get that done. Once we get this done, we're going to call an episode with just the uh, enrichment chamber and energized smelter. So we just need four of these done. That's going to take just a minute. So while that's going, I think I'm going to actually... Um, let's see, what else do we need? That's osmium compressor. Energized smelter. Need two more of those control circuits. So let's go ahead and make those. There we go. Uh, what else we need for energized smelter? Need two glass, so let's go get our glass. Hey, there we go. All right, got that part done. Let's go ahead and wrench, enrich it the rest of the way into steel. And let's go ahead and turn this into a Tinker's Construct crafting station. There we go. That way we don't lose our recipes. Uh, energized smelter. Steel casing. Okay. Need to wait for these to get done. Then we'll, then we'll call an episode. And then uh, next episode we'll work on our uh, work on getting the hydrogen generator. I'm gonna start working on materials in the purification chamber and the crusher. I'm gonna try to get all that set up and ready to go. So all we have to do is craft them and put them down, and I should have more than enough materials to do it. So I'm gonna go mining. I'm going to stay away from that dungeon for now. Then we'll look at making... So we're going to try to get a hydrogen generator, a electrolytic separator. Uh, we're going to need a uh, aqueous accumulator to feed this water. And then we're going to want to make a atomic disassembler. Yeah. A jetpack. And free runners. So, and a, probably a basic energy cube. We'll probably make one of those two just so we can store the power. All right, uh, there we go. Now that's an enrichment chamber, so we can't use that. Uh, where's our furnace? Furnace, you go down there. And hopefully we'll have all this set up and ready to go. So for now, it's all going to be down here. It's going to be moved at a later point to a different base. For sure. I just haven't decided what kind of base I want. Uh, if you guys could leave some comments behind for, you know, what kind of base build you want. Uh, I just did a sky base on my uh, multiplayer world that I play on. So I was thinking of doing something different. I don't know what yet. But definitely something different. So we'll see. So if you guys could come up with some ideas or suggestions, I'll look at them and see which one would be best. Energized smelter. Thank you. All right, now we can start uh, processing ores. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, remember, if you like what you see, hit the like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Either way, I, and if you do dislike it, please tell me what I can do better. Alright, that's all I ask. 
So uh, until next time, this is Teddy here. Take it easy. Uh, see you in a couple days.